Welcome back to Rocket Hill Stock It and today we'll be looking at the Nike Vapor Street Flyknit. So with Nike they don't usually give um, many extras with their running shoes and things like that. Um, with my Zoom Fly I got this uh, waterproof little gym bag but with this I got um, this gym bag sort of thing I'm guessing to store some trainers in but that came with these which is a little cool extra so let's get into the shoe okay guys so we'll start by looking at the upper of the shoe um, so Nike's gone with the traditional fly knit upper with that big exaggerated swoosh on the outside and we've got the little swoosh on the inside slightly smaller uh, I went with the uh, university red colorway which I thought was uh, the better one out of the two uh, but I could see a lot of people preferring the black colorway with the grey swoosh so uh, we've got pull tab here and then look at that exaggerated heel man look at that So the silhouette itself, uh, how these are made, they are based on the Vaporfly Elite, the 4%, um, the running pair that was made last year. So what they did was they based the, the shape of the shoe on that. They put the fly knit on the upper, as you can see. And in the midsole, this is all uh, the new React technology as we saw with the uh, epic react video previous to this and we've got a nice gradient here leaning into the white on the back and we've got a little bit of a black speckle on there as well if you can see that and then on the outsole we've got some maroon burgundy sort of detailing and a swoosh on there as well just look at the shape I think this might be one of the oddest shapes I've seen on a sole before I never had the Vaporfly Elite in hand that was one pair I really wanted but never got my hands on it but uh, this is second best it's the best I can do so I'm pretty happy with them to be honest now comfort wise I don't know what it is but I preferred these a lot more to the Epic React. Uh, I think it might be due to this super huge chunk of uh, React technology in the heel here. Uh, that will be absorbing a lot of your weight and anything walking running wise, which is possibly why these are so comfortable. Uh, I can go to the extent of saying they're better than the zoom fly which I live by like I've worn the crap out of these um, I've got the off-white pair as well which I'm also wearing into and I think these top both of those these top boost they top every other pair I've worn to be honest um, with the fly knit on these, it's got slightly more stretch in it, so this this would be good for anyone with the slightly wider foot. But with the Epic React, um, that will suit someone with a slimmer foot. So these are super comfortable overall. Uh, Design-wise, I like the design. Um, it's something to get used to when you're wearing them. There's not much to this trainer. I think it's a uh, a simple project by Nike I think they did the best thing possible with using the Vaporfly silhouette the Vaporfly Elite and this new technology in the heel and the sole is definitely something that we're gonna see a lot more of this year I can see them implementing this on a lot of silhouettes um, the Epic React is a big success to a lot of people are loving that shoe and if these continue to roll out, I can see these getting getting that same popularity as well. Uh, these retailed at 
at £150. With the Ultra Boost will run you like £130. And uh, the Epic React is holding that same price at £130 as well. There's not much difference uh, price wise. Depends what sort of fit and what sort of styling of shoe you like. So, in that sense, I'd say these are pretty good. If you are going to buy them, um, these fit like a minuscule amount too big like slightly too big it might be because the flying it's got a bit more movement in it but I went through to size these are size 8 um, I can deal with it I think this tiny bit on the toe box is maybe what's sticking out but um, true to size can't go wrong if you can do half size down I'd, I'd say they still fit fine so that's the Nike Vapor Street flying it. In my opinion, the most comfortable thing to come from Nike this year so far. I know it's only a couple months in, but that's my opinion. Nothing else coming close to these at the moment. On foot video coming after this. I'll catch you on the next one. Welcome back to Rocket Note Stock It and this episode we will be looking at the Nike F off. So we have the bollocks. So we <laughs> why is this so fucking 